friends, this is Emily with BurlapKitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Tonight we're going to be making a cute snowman using an empty paper towel roll, some wood circle cutouts that I got at Walmart in the craft department, some chunky yarn that I believe came from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. We're going to be using some buttons, some larger ones, some smaller ones. I thought about the bell, but then we actually didn't use that. I also have a top hat that I got. It's a top hat ornament that came from Dollar General. A wood bead that I just went ahead and painted orange and now we're gonna start with these um, wood circles so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna stain these circles now the reason I'm using the wood circles I'm just using them for a base you're gonna need some kind of base if not your snowman is gonna be top heavy and he will tip over so if you don't have the wood circles maybe you could cut out some cardboard into a circle um, I'm not sure if he would fit and I know I use the chewing tobacco cans a lot to craft with I just clean them out and use them um, I'm not sure if he would fit in that or not But there's a couple different things you could think about to use for that base just so he uh, doesn't tip over Now I get tons of questions about antique wax So the antique wax that I normally use is usually the Waverly brand I don't think I'm using that here. My bottle is so messy. I can't even tell anymore but I know Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby and Michaels both sell a brand of antique wax. They all work great. Everyone that I've used from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, the one, the Waverly brand you can get at Walmart in the craft section with the craft paints, that works well too. So um, any of those would work good for this project. Now I'm just gluing these three circles together. The reason I did three of them together, I just needed it to be a little bit heavier. So I probably actually could have added a few more circles to this, but this one worked. This three of them worked, so I just went with it. Now I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and dry, and I'm wiping up my little mess there where I spilt some antique wax. You don't want to get any of that wax on your yarn, or it will stain it, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to start around the bottom. Make sure when you start at the bottom that you get that first circle of yarn even, or it, your project isn't going to stand right when we go to put it on the base. So make sure that's even. Up at the top it don't matter so much because we're going to cover that um, and it's really not going to matter. So the way that I do this is I just add a little bit of glue and then I just start twisting. As you twist you want to make sure that you get the yarn as close to the um, as, as close together as possible so you can't see through to see that tube. Now you could go ahead and paint your tube white just in case um, I didn't bother to do that because I got it so I, I knew what I needed to do so I just got it pretty close together and I I didn't need to paint it so up here at the top I'm just gonna go ahead and loop that around and then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut it and I'm gonna tuck a little piece of that inside the empty paper towel roll and add some glue and just glue it in there just like that I'm trying to show you here what I'm doing so you can see. So now we have this roll that's covered in some chunky yarn. Now we are going to start assembling our snowman. Now this was kind of hard for me to get the whole thing in the frame with my camera, so you're going to have to just bear with me here. I'm going to go ahead and glue that bottom that we got super even. I'm going to glue that to my base. And I'm just going to hold it there for a minute just to make sure that everything stays in place. You want to make sure it's even. So now I'm going to flip it here a little so you guys can see better. I'm going to cut this string off the ornament. And like I said, this ornament did come from Dollar General. It's just a top hat ornament. I believe I saw them at Dollar Tree. So they're a cool thing to pick up and keep in your craft stash for making snowmen, actually. So I'm just going to hot glue around the rim of the paper towel roll. And then I'm going to go ahead and add his hat. Now I like to add his hat first before I do his face, although it probably would be easier the other way around, but I feel like once his hat's on, I can get a better idea where I want his eyes and his nose and all of that. Now I'm going to take some fabric, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip it. When you rip it like this, instead of cutting it, it will give nice frayed edges. Um, if you don't have any fabric on hand, check your husband's um, shirt drawer. See if he has any old shirts that he's not wearing that you could rip up. Or maybe go to Goodwill and buy a shirt for it. Tons of different things you could do there. So now I'm just laying everything out to sort of get an idea how I want him to look. 
And I'm going to go ahead and glue these buttons down because I know for a fact I want those there. This is such a fun project. I had a lot of fun making this one. Um, these eyes here were a little bigger than I wanted, so we're going to switch those out with some smaller eyeballs. And then that bead, I, I went ahead and painted that orange. I didn't bother doing that on, on this video because um, it's super easy. I just painted it orange. And I try to keep these videos as quick as possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue down these two little eyes for the for his eyes. And now we're going to go ahead and glue down the bead, the wood bead nose. And these wood beads, you can get them on Amazon a lot of times. They come in a big pack. I can't remember the price on them, but you could check Amazon for a good deal on some wood beads. I'm going to go ahead and cut this scarf to get it to look the way I want. And then I'm just going to take my fingers and fray the ends of the scarf. You just pull those little threads and they'll just come right out depending on your fabric. This fabric, they came out really easily. Sometimes you'll get some stubborn fabric and it doesn't want to do that. So this bell, I was really undecided. I felt like he had a lot going on up there near the face, so I actually decided to forego the bell, but I did hold it up there so you could get an idea of what it would look like. So guys, that is it. This was a super fun project. I had tons of fun with it, and I hope you did too. For more great ideas just like this one, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.